Yo, what's up Giants fans, Hub Watchers, YouTube and Rumble subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers, it's Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video. It is of course a much needed update on the Kadarius Tony situation and the first thing I'll say is that this makes much more sense and that this kind of just a little bit you know reaffirms why a lot of Giants fans and Giants people on Twitter kind of refer to Pat Leonard as uh, Pat the Rat and kind of don't necessarily trust any report that comes out of him or from him, especially off of a TikTok. But, you know, I'm just, just going to throw that out there because a lot of people, when the news first broke that Kadarius Tony was apparently being shopped, their first reaction was once they saw it was from Pat Leonard was, hey, wait until somebody else kind of goes along with that report and is saying the same thing and for the record there were a couple reporters who did dan duggan i believe did uh zach rosenblatt a lot of reporters kind of not necessarily co-signed it but said from their own sources that tony was available or you know that they were listening in on offers for tony but the wording from pat leonard's you know report that made it go so viral that actually made tony trend on twitter for a couple of days was that the giants are shopping they are looking to trade. They are actively seeking, you know, trades for Kadarius Tony, their first round pick from last year. When now, on Monday, it is not that. It is very different. It's a it's different wording, but the wording cares a lot. All right, let's let's address that. The Giants are listening to offers for Kadarius Tony, which is not a surprise. Because our general manager, our new general manager, Joe Shane, when he stepped in, said he would be listening up to offer for anybody that picks up the phone and called. He's quoted saying it would be against his duty as a general manager to not listen in on offers if there's, you know, just in case there's potentially something that blows the door off. We know for a fact he listened in to offers for Saquon Barkley. And Saquon is worth more to his team right now than Kadarius Tony, just to kind of put things in perspective we know he's been listening to offers for a lot of players on this team but there's a difference between doing that between picking up the phone when another gm calls and then shopping the player when you're shopping the player you're the one calling other teams you're putting him on the trading bo block essentially and you're trying to get him out of here and that that is not what's happening and that is what the report was saying was happening what we learned now is that it's m less of the shopping and more of the listening and shout out to Bobby Skinner, man, from Talking Giants. Y'all know Bobby. He's the, the people's man right now because he uh, put out during the Talking Giants podcast that Kadarius Tony has been in the Giants facility since Saturday. So maybe this report did scare him a little bit. If you go off his Instagram account, you know, it seems like he's not phased, but I, I don't believe that any player would kind of be phased if after a year of them getting drafted, there's a bunch of reports coming out saying the team that drafted you is going to trade you. Maybe it scared him a little bit. Or maybe the Giants told him to come down here so that they could clear up the situation. Whatever the case is, he's been in the Giants training facility since Saturday. And he's still there up to now. And this has been co-signed by other reporters as well. Let me just see if I can pull that tweet up real quick. Um, This has been co-signed by Dan Duggan, by Patricia Trainer, and by the man himself, Pat. Right? So you got a lot of people saying that he's been there, of course. You've got a lot of uh, the reverse, the resurfacing of Kadarius' famous quote, media some clowns, which, you know, at this point, yeah, media are some clowns. There's a reason There's a reason I really like that quote, and I've said it before in videos and on podcasts, that I, I like the way he handles the media. It's not the traditional, you know, Eli-esque way. He recognizes that the media could be some, can be pretty bad for a player at times. But let, let's, let's talk about what this means. What this means is, hopefully... And, and this is what I said earlier. Hopefully this is kind of a scare to him to kind of scare him straight type of situation or that he starts taking these things more seriously. Um, and it makes more sense that they're not shopping him after missing voluntary training camps. Now, maybe, you know, the, the sect of Giants fans out there that thought he was getting traded because of that. Maybe you guys are right. I don't know. Um, but I personally don't think him missing one three day voluntary camp was would be the sort of the straw that breaks the camel's back in this situation if they were legitimately looking shopping i believe there was something else behind the scenes that we don't know about uh but it is clear 
that this voluntary camp was a bit more important than Tony seemed to have it in his, you know, priority list. And well, now he's there. I could only assume, or we could only assume that he probably does have a copy of whatever playbook Brian Dayball was given out now. Whatever the case may be, he's there. And it makes a lot more sense now when a quote that a lot of people brought up when the, no, the news initially broke as shopping um, was when Joe Shane was talking about Kadarius Tony. I believe it was at the combine. He said he's one of those untradeable pieces, paraphrasing there, something along those lines. It just makes more sense now. Listen, it could be a mixture of both, but what it's looking like to me is that they were listening rather than shopping it you know, or shopping the player. They were just listening in on offers. You know, maybe Pat Leonard or a source to Pat Leonard got a little bit excited and, you know, completely uh, misinterpreted what they were actually doing. That report gets out. Tony gets a little bit miffed, maybe gets a little bit scared, gets told onto the Giants facility, or he gets a little miffed. The Giants were like, hey, come on down here. Let's explain this. But let's also impart on you the importance of show of showing up to basically every workout so that we can hit the ground running uh, in fall so we can get this playbook done. We could get you up in with the scheme. But... They're in good straits now. All right. Hopefully everything is fine. We shall see where it goes from here. We all knew that Kenny Galladay and Sterling Shepard said they were going to try and reach out to him, said they were going to talk to Tony, you know, try and get him here more involved. Whatever the case is, this is one less headache for draft. I don't think he's going to get traded. Even when, you know, the shopping was the news, I find it very hard to believe that they were going to trade him. I mean, we were going to face a $2 million loss. Then there's the questions of what is even the return going to be if everything about you know the all the bad news about him is true in terms of behind the scenes and whatnot then who's gonna trade anything more than like a fourth or a third round pick for him and that's just a loss after just spending a first round of him less than 365 days ago less than a year ago so one less headache for the draft we could get back to focusing on hey tackle and corner now i still think wide receiver is probably going to be something they pick up if not as an insurance policy for insurance policy for not only tony but ken galladay and sterling shepherd as well these guys get injured uh, just to build up the wide receiver depth, which is kind of low right now. But you guys put your thoughts on below. Let me know what you think. Just a quick short update video. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to tune in tonight for the first ever Jeopardy game. Uh, the contestants once again are gonna be are gonna be Justin Penick, Pest, Kid Blue, Biggie, Ash, and Nate. Uh, three teams. We'll see who wins. We'll see who got the most trivia knowledge when it comes to the NFL draft. That's it for now, and I'm out. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel, The Hub, here on Giants YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear every time I put out a video. Like it, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.